Things happen very fast when it comes to the matters of relationship. If you are getting yourself attracted and desiring to have someone in your life, you will have to channel all your attention and focus on it so that nothing will take your mind off the feeling. But you may not know that sometime the attention you pay to that feeling and the relationship you are about to build with someone could be your major distractions when you are not consciously attentive to the Spirit of God working in you. If you start getting attracted to that person, you do not pay attention to yourself and the things that you have planned to achieve for yourself. You must know that there is a good venture that will destroy another good venture because anything good stand out on its own and it works itself into success with little or no effort exacted to it. You will know if you are getting so fast into a relationship if you suddenly you don't pay attention to something and things that make your life and all attentions are on the relationship and it is making you be less productive in other areas of your life. It is making other aspects of your life to suffer. Your spiritual life, academics, and other areas of your life that you should have given all the attention so that your life will be progressive and blessed. Bless the amount of success that you have made. That is a very big sign that you are entangling yourself into a wrong relationship. It is a signal from God that you have left the real thing and you are allow something that is less substantial. Something that will not yield good fruit for you to distract you from doing and facing that thing that you ought to make your life a great one. Because you are in the right relationship, it is supposed to be a plus to your value and other areas of your life will get improved as a result of that. But the reason your life is not getting to the place of blessings and you are quickly kissing that value in your life is just because your relationship with that person is the wrong one. So you have to pull yourself out of it because you are completely down on the ground. Realizing that you are in a wrong relationship could be one that will always come in the end after everything you have worked for has been hit with that pressure that is coming from your failure. That is when you will know it that your energies has actually gone to the wrong venture and not the real places. Know it now that good things attracts good things, while the presence of wrong is a pleasure to the mind of those that take wrong as a pleasure. When you start knowing that you are getting yourself away from the people that has good value and you are gradually not having that time for their company, but rather you are always with your spouse and the person you are in a relationship with, then it is a wrong relationship. Listen. If you're with the right person, then share value that will be created with help you sustain your community of good and valuable friends that have been the one that you have always looked up to when you want to get better. That feeling that you may not need someone if they are not your lover is one side that you are not getting it right with that relationship and it is not going to end well because at a point in life, those that you have shut out of your life will always be needed for a reason or the other, but they may not be there for you to have a handful of their value and their importance in your life. If your relationship is taking you away from good people, if you notice that those that means good to you are no more there in your life because of the fact that you do not have time for them, and you now too obsess with your relationship, then you should know it that you are trending on the wrong path of life. Your relationship should not take you away from good and respectable people. Rather, it should be a point of attraction to those that will add value to your life. Good people are valuable asset to get and keep. You do not have to joke or take them for a common value because you think there is no need for that. You must keep those that are good to you and valuable to your life. If your relationship is a good one, it will not take you away from good people. The reason you are getting off from that company of good people is just because the relationship is wrong and good and wrong cannot walk together. So you have to redeem yourself so fast that wrong relationship. There are morality of life and in the same way there is also immorality of life. 
And all this works in the mind and they are all products of the thing you give yourself to. Whenever you see you sled going deep into thing that are not morally right, if the relationship is taking you deep and deep into becoming someone you do not want to be, you want to stop those act, but you are not finding it easy for yourself to get out of it because you are deep in that relationship already. That is a sign that you are entangled into a wrong relationship. You do not want to continue the sexual relationship, but every time you find yourself doing it, you do not want to go to a place where you have decided you do not want to go. But as a matter of necessity, you keep finding yourself in that place. You are not that person that keeps late night, but because that is the only time you can hook up with your lover, then you have to keep going out and staying out late, which is out of your plan. All these and others are signs that you are in a wrong relationship and it is going to make you lose your value if you continue with it. You are not keeping your principles and value again because they are all not going to make your relationship to work. It is a sign that you are not getting better in that relationship and you have gone into a wrong relationship and you have to do all within your power to get yourself out of it. Your relationship is not supposed to lessen your respect. Your relationship is not supposed to make you lose your value and those good be that you have getting already. So if you are getting yourself overindulged in that relationship, it is a sign to you that you are entangling yourself into a wrong relationship and it may not sound well for you. People begin to see and hear that you are doing the wrong things, wrong lifestyle and immorality which are not acceptable in the community of good society that you have been before that relationship. No progress plan the future. You used to have a good plan and goal for yourself until you got close to Sodom. You take your future serious until the uncontrollable hit your conscious being. You have not been able to achieve some things good and substantial ever since you started in that relationship. It is a sign that God is showing you now that you have to let go of that relationship and put your life in other. It is not wrong to be in a relationship, but the wrong in it is that it is a bad one. You are losing your future on a daily basis because of your activities in that relationship. You do not have plans for your future. You are not working hard anymore to keep yourself on the side of destiny. What else have you come to life to do if not to fulfill the purpose of life? Have you ever asked yourself why you have not been progressive? Have you wondered why you have not moved away from the level you have been before and why things are not coming as it ought to be? If you have made that your concern, then you will see that if you have not been faithful to the pursuit of your goal as it ought to be, you will know that you have not been following your plans as you have followed up your relationship. If you understand this, you will know that the problems you have is not just any other thing, but because you are in a relationship that has made you too busy to plan and fight to win over the things of life. You can get to the place you want to be if you do the right thing. The right thing is the step of pulling out of that relationship so that your life will come back to its state of good.